Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now let's look at, uh, on how to prepare process one account. So from the question, we can see that you are being given the information about the direct material, direct labor, direct expenses, overhead. All these things are uh, your input. That means you put in the uh, these items on your debit side of the account of your process one account. Okay, you prepare your process one account. You make sure you have three columns. Uh, on each side that means on your debit side you will have the quantity column the cost per unit and the amount the same goes in the on the credit side of your account have the quantity cost per unit and the amount okay you put in quantity just now for your material we have 500 kg the cost per unit is 4 ringgit per kg so you, uh, you if you know these two figures then you can work out this one 500 times 4 you will get 2000 and what about the direct labor direct labor given in the question as 3000 ringgit and then direct expenses is 1000 ringgit and overhead 100% of labor cost so 100% of 3000 gives you 3000 so you will have this one uh, direct labor 3000 direct expenses 1000 and overhead as 3000 what else you are being given the information the output so uh, transferred to process 2 that is your output is 500 kg so this will be the credit uh, will be on the credit side of your account so you transfer output to process 2 is your 500 kg okay and then your you have to work out your cpu your cpu or the average cost or the cost per unit how do you work it out to calculate your CPU, your cost per unit is total cost divided by input. If you have normal loss, that will be deducted. This one, total cost minus your normal loss in terms of the value divided by your input minus your normal loss in terms of the quantity. So you work that out. So that gives you, your total input is 900 ringgit. You add all these things, you will get 9,000, sorry, not 900, 9,000 ringgit. So that 9,000 ringgit minus, you don't have any normal loss. So that will be zero uh, divided by your total uh, input that is 500 minus zero. You don't have any normal loss. So 9,000 divided by your nine, uh, 500, you will get 18 ringgit per kg. So that 18 ringgit per kg is your CPU that you will put here. So 18, you put in here. So that 18 times 500 gives you 9 thousand okay so that is your nine thousand uh, uh value okay the value of your output to process two uh, and your account should be balanced okay so that output to process two so in your process two you will have input from process one you just uh, uh, as this is a double entry so you will have a 500 18 and nine thousand on the credit side so you will have a, a debit item in your process 2 from process 1 you will have 500 and the cpu just now is 18 and you will get 9000 here and then you add on the items from the question from the question you are being given the information about the additional material of another 6 ringgit per kg at 500 kg so you put this one is a debit item 500 times 6 and then you also have your direct material sorry direct labor your direct expenses and then your overhead again your overhead is absorbed at 100 percent of labor cost so if your labor cost is 3000 that will be 100 percent times 3000 gives you an a uh, 3000 so that is the debit item so sorry uh this one so 500 uh times six you will get 3000 and then put in your direct labor direct expenses and your overhead accordingly so that will be your total input okay next you put in the output to process three output to process three given in the question output to process three is 850 kg and then in this case you have a normal loss in process two you have normal loss or the, this one as 10 percent of input so uh, normal loss is put on the credit side of your account so here you have the output to process three that is 850 and then normal loss you already work it out just now okay the quantity you already work it out here refer to this table you have your in for process 2 so for process 2 you have normal loss of 100 and you have abnormal loss of 
50. So abnormal loss is on your credit side. Okay. Credit side of your account. So you have normal loss of 100 and abnormal loss of 50. Okay. And then you in the question, you are being given the CPU or the scrap value of your normal loss of 10 cents per kg. So you, you know these two figures. So you can work it out. So your normal loss is... Uh, so your normal loss is 10 ringgit so 100 times 10 cent you will get 10 ringgit that is the value of your normal loss next you will count your cost per unit your cost per unit is worked out as the total cost minus the normal loss in terms of the value divided by the quantity of your input minus your normal loss quantity so in this case your total cost you add all these things so you add all these things give you 18910 and then minus your normal loss in terms of value your normal loss in terms of value is 10 okay and then divided by input quantity so your input quantity is 1000 minus your normal loss quantity is 100 so 1000 minus your 100 so that will give you a cpu of rm 21 ringgit per kg so for that 21 ringgit per kg that will be the cost per unit of your output to process 3 okay and being mentioned earlier abnormal loss will also carry the cost of the good units that means the abnormal loss cpu is also 21 so here you will get 21 times 850 you will get 17850 and do the same thing for your abnormal loss that is 50 times 21 gives you 1050 and your account should be balanced okay so that is for your process 2 so output of process 2 will be input for process 3 so you will take all uh, these three figures the 850 and 21 to your process 3 so open up your process 3 account same thing you will have three columns and then uh, you will have the uh, so you you will have this one your input for from process 2 so input from process 2 will be your 850 here 850 21 17 850 okay so you will have this one it uh, 80 850 21 and 17850. Next, you put in the direct labor, direct expenses, and overhead. Look at the question. So, in the question, you are being given the information that the direct labor is 2500 ringgit, and then the direct expenses is 882, and then the overhead is 100% of your labor cost. Okay, so you have that. Uh, in your process 3. So you have your direct labor, direct expenses, overhead. Okay. Next, given in the question, items that you transfer to finished goods is 770. So that is the finished goods that will be on the credit side because you don't have any more process after that. So that goes to your finished goods. And then, what about the normal loss? Do you have any normal loss in this, uh, in this process 3 account? So you look at the uh, calculation that you have already worked it out uh, previously so in this case for process 3 so for process 3 you have normal loss of 85 and you already uh, you already determined that you have five uh, abnormal gain so in this case you put in your normal loss credit side of your account as 85 so normal loss is 85 and then your abnormal gain so if your abnormal loss is a a credit item then your abnormal gain is a debit item so you put in your five abnormal gain here and then what else do you know we know the value of your the scrap value of your normal loss so given in the question the scrap value of your normal loss for process 3 is 20 cent per per kg so that will be 85 times 20 cent that gives you 17 so that 17 is the amount of your normal loss after that so you can determine the cpu the same formula and then the total cost will be all the total uh, all the input here 
Okay, you add all these things that gives you 23887 and then minus your normal loss in terms of value. So your normal loss in terms of value is 17 just now. Uh, so here. So uh, that will be all these things. All these four figures, you add this thing, give you 23887. Sorry, all these um you add all these things, these figures, and then minus 17, the normal loss value. And then my uh, divided by your uh, to, uh, input of uh, 850 minus the normal loss of 85. So that gives you a CPU of uh, 31. Okay, you add all this. Okay, not this one. Okay, hold on. So, okay, so... Uh, you've got 31 ringgit per kg. So that 31 ringgit per kg, so you put in for your finished goods, uh, 31. So you've got 770 times 31. So you've got this figure and then uh, 5 ringgit, uh, sorry, not 5 kg also times with your 31. So you will get a value of 155. So uh, then your account should be balance. Alright, so that's how you do your process account.